On your plow, when it's in storage mode or sitting here, you'll always want a block underneath it. Otherwise, when you pull up, your cylinder won't be long enough to reach for the lift. So just any four inches is enough, but five, six inches is way better. It'll just make drive up and line up a lot better. Now I started it and went to move the cylinder and it's going the wrong way for me for the joystick. So I'm going to switch the hoses. The top line on this tractor, we will want on the outside port. And that way when you pull the stick, it will raise the plow. So I'm just switching it out. We're switching them around. There. So I've grabbed the second uh, cylinder pin and linch pin. Sit them up here. I'm going to lower the cylinder down, get it closer. I'm going to move these hoses. These are going to go all the way to the back of the tractor. They're for your clamps to disconnect and connect to the uh, box. I'm just going to bring them through here over this brace, center brace we put on. I'm going to just bring them up to the back of the tractor for now just to get them out of the way. Just gonna let them hang for there for now. I will raise the plow up to help align the pins. So we release the pins since we're on the frame now. So now they're spring loaded and should, should push themselves in. And that's how it should go in. Now we're going to hook up the angle cylinders to the quick connects. Now we should be able to raise and lower the plow and angle it. Now that that's done, we're going to hook up our quick connect for the box on the back. Again, I'm releasing the pressure on the valves in the back. Hook these on. There. And we got a little bit extra hose, so I'm going to grab a bungee strap and pull that up. I'll just give a couple wraps on this. Hook up right up to our couplers. Hold on. And no, nothing's hanging. We should be good. Include installation and hookup of the snow fire onto a compact utility John Deere 4066.